this is Ben back with you in the model shop again. Uh, well, this is it. This is the final episode of the USS Arizona by Trumpeter and 1200 scale. The ship is finished. At least, I'm not going to do anything more on it. Um, in the last episode, I had worked on uh, the cranes and the uh, airplanes on the back and things like that. And basically, I was getting to the point where all I had to do was put everything together. And I didn't want to do a video showing all that because basically then you would see the ship finished. So, um, we're just going to go look over it uh, now. Uh, if you're checking this video out for the very first time and you want to know about all of the uh, additional kits that I use, like where did I get the wooden deck, um, what photo etch did I use, stuff like that, go back to the very, very first video in this entire series because that's all I do is I talk about that one. That one's just, there's no building, it's just all the stuff that I use. This one, there's no building, it's, it's just a finished model. Um, I did put the figures on the ship that I bought from Trumpeter. I did not use the kit provided figures. Um, I have them here. I pulled them out. And I don't know if you can see like how wiggly this is. Like they're, It's like rubbery. I don't know what happened. They're also insanely tall. Um, they're not well molded. I don't know what was going on. I used Trumpeter um, kit pieces and Trumpeter pieces. They looked a lot better. So anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the finished ship on the display case mount, the, the mount for it. And then I did make um, a display case for it out of uh, plexiglass that I purchased at your local big box store. I uh, just used some silicone to put it together. Uh, it's not fantastic. You can see through it. The big thing is it's just going to keep the dust off of it. So um, we're going to take a look at the model. And I'm going to put up a lot of pictures as well uh, when talking because sometimes it's hard to zoom in with the camera and get a really good look. Uh, thanks to everyone who's watched and subscribed. Uh, the next build is going to be the Albatross by Wingnut Wings. I'm going to finish that kit. If you go back in my um, series of videos that I make, you'll see that I uh, started that airplane and never finished it. So going to finish it. It's important to finish products. All right, enough talking. Let's take a look at the ship. And here we go. Try to put up uh, some white background stuff so that you guys can see all the detail. But that's the finished ship. So let's talk about some things up here in the bow. We'll zoom in. I changed the rigging arrangements. Um, basically from some of the photos and the plans that I got from the ship uh, these little spots up front here are for actually towing and then I forget the technical term for the chains that go down here but um, the rigging goes across and it's uh, supposed to be utilized for these things that are for clearing uh, mines so I ran some running rigging and um, you know just stuff for like if you were gonna pull into port. Let's zoom in. Got some figures here, sorry. It's It was hard to pose the figures in a way that um, looked good and was natural because they only come in a few different poses. Uh, someday I'll make my own or I don't know, do something to liven them up a little bit. Um, but for now, this will this will work. Got a Manning Arena aircraft guns. We got a few officers up on the bridge. And we've got guys Manning Arena aircraft guns. People coming up the stairs. Folks heading back to the bow or the stern. Sorry. All right, let's take another look here. All right, I'll try and do this by hand. We got our screws in place. I left the shafts aluminum. I just think they look cool. Um, I did do the just the big heavy blocks underneath the round ones to hold the ship up. It's a big beefy ship, and I thought it should have a big beefy looking. Um, display stand to put it on. And we got 
got some of our crew down here. Folks going up and down the stairs. The wooden deck turned out fantastic. And that's it. We've got our rigging going all the way up here. Our antennas. The rigging for the flags, the signal flags. I'm not going to put any up. Um, it looks good here. We'll turn, zoom in a little bit. Some people up on the bridge. Looks nice. All right, let's go ahead and turn around. We'll look at the uh, starboard side. All right, starboard side. See some more of the rigging up front. I just kind of mimicked what I did on the other side, and I tried to mimic as best I could the drawings uh, for the ship plans that I found online. Some folks walking around. Um, I guess this is not the side that will be on display in my house uh, when I put it up, but if I turn it around ever or someone walks around it or I take it to a show or something, I don't know. I want there to be stuff happening on uh, all sides of the ship. So you've got something to look at. Uh, I think there's about... So, in the trumpeter kit that I purchased, there's a good 60 uh, figures that come with it. Um, that come in the kit, 60 of them, which I thought was pretty good. I, I painted most of them up. I think I painted 50 of them. Uh, like I said, a lot of the poses were pretty boring and did the best I could to uh, put them all together in groups that seemed semi-lifelike, like people were doing something, hanging out or walking around or on a mission, I don't know what. Um, it just was... I don't know, it, it was hard to make everybody look like they're in natural poses. So I just did the best that I possibly could with them. But anyway, I think I ended up using 43, 44 of them. Uh, something like that. Because it just ended up, uh, well, it worked better. I guess I just stood back and looked at things with my eye and said, well, that looks natural. And so... Um, we'll go with it. Alright. Actually, it's zoomed all the way back out. This is, uh, for those of you who are just checking in for the very first time, this is a really large model. Uh, it's almost three feet long. And I think it looks great. Uh, for those of you who didn't see the episode on the display base, this worked out really well, and I'll show it. This this uh, is a pretty large flat lip that I put here, and the glass fits right on here. So yeah, it'll be easy to take on off, and then um, but it it kind of locks itself in this lid. As you'll note, there is not a lot of distance between the bow and the front edge. I tried to make this case as small as I could. Uh, but at the same time, make the ship fit. So the same thing back here in the stern. I mean, it just clears really. It's this uh, this thing right here. There's about an eighth of an inch distance um, in between the glass and the and the case. Zoom in on the crane here a little bit. Uh, the I think the coolest thing about this kit for me that's new. I. I don't want to say that this is museum quality, but I like the way ships, model ships and museums look. And part of what does that, I believe, besides obviously having a good case or a good uh, model kit done, is, is the, the glass case. You know, it's just something you can't touch. Uh, it's something you're not supposed to mess around with. Something your you know, parents tell you keep your little fingers off of when you're staring at. And so adding the case uh, 
to this kit, even though it was the first time I've ever done it and it's not very good, really made a big difference, I think, in terms of um, what the final product looked like. So, all right, with that being said, let me go grab the, uh, the little glass case I made for it. We'll throw it on top of this and you guys can see what the very, very finished product looks like. All right, and here it is in its case. Just a simple plexiglass case. And as you can see, if we zoom in right there, just barely clears it. Real close. And uh, then we go all the way up to the bow. Right there. Yes, there's gunk on the case, so I gotta clean it up on the outside and the inside, but anyway, uh, that's it. Plenty of room at the top here. That was the highest spot. Um, but anyway, it's in a case. Won't get dusty. Looks nice. Easy to move. Um, and my reflex reflection is in it. Alright, well, we'll put up some pictures here. If I haven't already in the video, sorry. I haven't decided the order in which I'm going to show all this. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. My 1-200 scale USS Arizona by Trumpeter. Uh, this was an extremely fun, fantastic build. I recommend this kit to anybody. And I think that's the biggest thing is that I had fun. And remember, if you're building a model and it's not fun, then don't do it. Because this is a hobby, something we're supposed to all just enjoy and uh, you know bring happiness to us. And keep us sharp, keep our skills sharp and uh, help exercise the eyes once in a while. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you subscribing and liking. And uh, the next video is going to be getting to work on our Albatross D5. Thank you very much for watching again. Thank you.